guys welcome to the gallivanting soul and this is my first trip out of mumbai since the lockdown began so i'm out after almost 6 months so today i decided to because we're still in uh, just phase 4 of lockdown opening and it's the first week of september and i've come to the wasai fort something which has been on my list for a very long time i'm going to take you around and show you this place which has quite a few structures i believe they're kind of like old churches and um, i mean i don't know much about the history of this place but it's called pesim uh, fort it used to be called and now it's called the wasai fort so yeah there are many structures around and yeah, this is one then the next phase of the structures are back there and then there's another one up ahead so there are quite a few and i'm going to be going around checking out some of these let's go and uh, see what the uh, wasai fort has to offer us and wow this place is it's just so quiet there's literally nobody around right now. my brother is a regular here he used to come here quite often and he says that uh, If you come here in the winter months, it's a completely different look because now, because of the rains, you know, most of the structures have got all this shrubs and grass growing in them, and um, in the winter months, it's all dried and gone. So you actually get to see the fort far more clearly. But I, being a lover of the monsoon, and I just needed to come out somewhere and enjoy some greenery. I decided to come here in the monsoons. So I believe there are seven different structures here. So I'm going to try and cover up at least two or three and. Uh, Maybe do the others the next time. Just look at this picture. This is so much of beauty, even in ruins, in old ancient ruins. I'm always fascinated. The Wasai Fort, spread across 110 acres, is surrounded by water on three sides. Today, this is all that remains as a reminder of a bygone era. Standing among the ruins lie seven churches. Some still have their high altars, a bell tower, and frescoes. One of the oldest churches here is the Soldier Church, built in 1536. Once a thriving city within its fortified walls and home to about 3000 people, it was considered a headquarters of sort for the Portuguese. The fort also included a town hall where important announcements were made. A municipality house with administrative office, a jail library hospital market college mint and a granary the wasai fort went to the east india company in 1818 soon after which the british moved their headquarters further south to bombay the city slowly dwindled and today it lies in ruins as a reminder to a once thriving city Oh, oh, oh. 
hot and humid day as you can see i've been perspiring so much and this is one of the only um, forts which has the doors and the one up ahead which has a wooden door so yeah these are actual iron doors and these are the only ones existing right now because none of the others have door and this is just near the seaside so you have to take a little drive down and come towards the seaside and that's where this is the entry to the first fort which is uh, just near the seaside. I mean, just look at this work. It's just, it's just so brilliant. 
I hope you enjoyed this vlog and if you did do give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel of course I would love to have you as a subscriber. Feel free to check out my other travel vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye now.